This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 1% from Module 4. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students understand that P% percent is the number P over 100, and the symbol 0 slash 0 means percent. Students convert between fraction, decimal, and percent, including percents that are less than 1% or greater than 100%. Students write a non-whole number percent as a complex fraction. For Lesson 1%, pause the video and copy the essential question. How do I convert between representations of a fraction, decimal, and percent for a given quantity? So we're going to match the percent with the correct sentence clues. And we'll write the percent after the description. I am half of half. 5 cubic inches of water filled in a 20 cubic inch bottle. So 5 inches out of 20 inches and half of half. Well, I know that half is 50%, and half of 50% would be 25%, and that is consistent with 5 out of 20. So our percent for the first description is 25%. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to cover up the description and the percent after you have used it. So just lightly cover it up there so that you know that it's already been used. And I'd like you to pause the video and complete the opening exercise. When you're done with this, resume the video to check your work. For opening exercise 2, pause the video, complete the exercise, and then resume the video to check your work. So how are these fractions and representations related to percents? Well, we know that percent means out of 100, and each of these grids are a 10 by 10, which is 100 for the whole, and they can be written as a denominator using 100. So what are some equivalent representations of the first fraction, 30 one hundredths? So equivalent to 30 one hundredths, we could simplify that to 3 tenths. And we can also write that with an equivalent fraction of 15 over 50ths. Another equivalent representation would be 30%, because 30 out of 100 is 30%. And we could also write that using place value, 30 one hundredths is equal to 0 0.3, because 30 one hundredths is equal to 3 tenths, which is equal to 0.3. So what these all have in common is that they are all equivalent to 30%. What are other equivalent representations of a third one hundredths? So let's take a look at our uh, part C, one third over 100. And one third over 100, remember that percent means out of 100. So this could also be just written as one third percent. We could also write one third over one hundredth as 0.3 repeating over 100 because we know that one third is equal to 0.3 repeating. And if we wanted to write that as a percent, remember that the numerator is the percent when the denominator is 100. So this would be 0 0.3 repeating percent. And then if we wanted to write that as a decimal, 0.3 over 100. Well, dividing by 100 essentially moves the decimal two places to the left. So if we moved our decimal two places to the left, that would be 0, 0, 003 repeating. So all of these are equivalent representations of a third one hundredths. Additionally, we could do this. If we wanted to eliminate the complex fraction, we could multiply both of these numerators and denominators by 3. 1 third times 3 is 1, and 100 times 3 is 300. So that is just one more equivalent fraction to 1 third one hundredths. In the next section, use the definition of the word percent to write each percent as a fraction and then as a decimal. So using the definition of percent, percent means out of 100. So all you have to do 
37.5% means 37.5 out of 100. And that's a complex fraction where you have either a decimal or a fraction in the numerator. So 100% would be 100 out of 100. 110% would be 110 out of 100. And 1% 1 would be 1 out of 100. 1 half a percent would be 1 half out of 100. You could also write that as a decimal if you'd like to, because 1 half is equivalent to 0 0.5%. You could also write that as 0.5 over 100. So that's using the definition of percent to write a percent as a fraction. Now let's use the definition of percent to write a decimal. So percent means out of 100 or divided by 100. So to change a percent to a decimal, you are actually dividing by 100. When you divide by 100, what happens to your decimal is that it moves two places. So then you think, does it move to the right or to the left? Well, if it moves to the right, your number would be getting bigger. Well, that would be multiplying by 100. So it will be moving to the left. So your decimal will move two places to the left. So we have 37.5 divided by 100. 37.5 divided by 100, and that's going to equal 0.375, because what happens is your decimal moves two places to the left. So 100%, that would be 100 divided by 100, and that is equal to 1. Move your decimal two places. 110%, so 110 divided by 100. Move your decimal two places to the left, and you have 1.10, or just 1.1. 1 percent, 1 divided by 100. Move your decimal two places to the left, so we have 0 0.01. And 1 half a percent, so we have 1 half divided by 100. For this one, you, you can't combine a fraction and a decimal, so what you want to do is write the 1 half as a decimal. So we know that 1 half is equal to 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 divided by 100. Move your decimal two places to the left, and then you would have 0 0.005. So we've used the definition of percent, which means to divide by 100, to write a percent as a decimal. When you divide by 100, you end up moving your decimal two places to the left. In example 2, fill in the chart by converting between fractions, decimals, and percent. Show your work in the space below. So let's go ahead and start with 350%. Using the definition of percent, that means out of 100. So 350 out of 100 will give you your fraction. And then to write it as a decimal, 350 divided by 100 will give us 3.5. So now writing a decimal as a percent. You are going in the opposite direction. And when you changed a percent to a decimal, you divided by 100. When you change a decimal to a percent, you actually multiply by 100. When you multiply by 100, your decimal goes two places to the right. So this will equal 2.5%. Then writing your fraction from that is very easy because we know that percent means out of 100. So 2.5% means 2.5 out of 100. 2.5 over 100. And for 1 eighth, for writing our fraction, there are a couple of ways that we could do this. We could write 1 eighth as a denominator of 100, because we know that percent means out of 100. So we could use equivalent fractions to do that. Here, you have to figure out what your multiplier is. So 8 goes into 100, 
12.5 times, so you are multiplying by 12.5, and that will give you 12.5 over 100. And so the answer is 12.5%. then to write that as a decimal. To change a percent to a decimal, you are dividing by 100. When you divide by 100, you move your decimal two places to the left. So to go from a percent to a decimal, you move your decimal, you divide by 100 and move your decimal two places to the left. And so that would be 0.125. I think I just want to make sure that you can make the connection between that. We've got 12.5 um, over 100, and when you want to write that as a decimal, you need the um, place value. You can multiply this by 10 to eliminate the decimal. And when you multiply by 10 in the numerator, you also need to multiply by 10 in the denominator. So you would also move your decimal one place in the denominator, and that would give you 125 over 1,000. And 125 thousandths is how you get your decimal. Another way that you could do that is to just do numerator divided by denominator times 100. And that will give you your percent as well. The exercise one, we are going to skip for now. Let's go down to the summary. In this lesson, you have learned that percent means per hundred. P percent is the same as P over 100. And using the symbol zero slash zero is the symbol for percent. Usually, there are three ways to write a number, as a percent, a fraction, and a decimal. Fraction and decimal forms of the percent P are equivalent to P over 100.